I've noticed in DayZ that a lot of people don't seem to understand or fully grasp the concept of how tents should really effectively be used. I've also got a bunch of questions on the channel on kind of the basics of uh, DayZ. So this is one of the basics which I'm going to be covering and that is tents. Uh, as you can see here, I found this person's tent. It's been pretty poorly disguised. It's above Starry Sober and that's a very common town to be visited. And he's put it behind the tree line and he's made that his actual base by having his AK and all this weaponry in there. And it's really a poor choice to put it as a lot of people come through there and it's not that well hidden. And tents at night kind of stand out. They kind of like glow kind of white. And when you're running for a forest at night time, tents are very easy to see. Um, these are the most common areas that you can actually find tents. Uh, this is mainly where clans and stuff put their tents that's in the northern and western borders there's a lot of foresty areas where people like to put their tents and camps you also can find cars there as well i like to think the mid rim of the map is the best place to put it kind of in this area here that i'm showing and the black forest they are the best places in my opinion because not many people go through there and it's also quite dense the forest and there's a lot of foliage on the ground to hide it all um, you want to apply, find a place where there's a lot of cover, you've got the right amount of trees, uh, kind of like these ones here. This is the best setup that you can possibly find, unless you've got like a circle thing of trees, but they're pretty rare. Uh, three trees together, two mediums on the outside and one big one in the middle. Um, as you can see here, I can hide my whole entire character underneath the foliage, which is good. That's what you want to be aiming for the tent. You want to be doing the same thing you're doing, I'm doing to my character here with the tent itself. Um, this way, when people walk past, they'll have to be paying 100% attention and actually be looking for this tent to see it. Um, so what you have to do to actually place a tent is you have to get adopt this kind of a, a weird prone walk where you walk back and forth whilst right-clicking to get the option to pitch tent and then clicking on it. Um, you can't just keep tapping that button over and over again. You have to right-click, then left-click, right-click, then left-click. You can check if you're doing it properly because it'll pop up with an error message and I'll say that it has to be on flat or there's an object blocking. Ignore this message as um, even if you're on flat terrain it'll still pop up with this message. Um, it's one of the things that is kind of like a, a bug that's in the alpha at the moment and I'm not too sure how long uh, it will be until they actually fix this so this could actually change in the future but for now um, this is how you do it. So you want to walk back and forth, adopt this prone walk whilst left uh, right clicking and then left clicking on it to pitch the tent. You'll know when you successfully pinch the tent where it plays a sound effect and if you've done it right it'll it'll play it and sometimes it'll glitch and play it a couple of times as the, the system's a bit weird. Um, it can take a while, uh, I think for this one it took me about five to ten minutes and here I go here, I pitch the tent so you hear that sound effect, that's all good and I think it bugs out and plays it yeah, a couple of times more. That that's fine. Um, as long as the tent can be, as you can, as long as you can confirm it's on the ground, it's fine. So yeah, that is a perfectly hidden tent. Now you don't want it completely covered, but you want it covered like that, where you can only see like five to ten percent of that um, that tent. Uh, the downside to this happening is that it's hard to actually access this tent. But this is actually a good thing, not a bad thing. If you get on the ground and kind of shuffle around and move the bit you'll find these spots these sweet spots where you get the option to put in gear to save it and even pack up the tent so if you didn't like your location you can pack it up and the tent will be on the ground easy to pick up again um, when it comes to actually storing stuff in your tent you have uh, three types you have tools bags and weapons and you can store I think it's 10 tools five bags and up to 50 general items so uh, guns, clearly weapons, bags, so you can have like five Alice backpacks. Um, and general items are just like uh, ammunition, food, water, uh, flares, stuff like that. Uh, even medical supplies, stuff like uh, compasses, maps, GPS, they're, they're tools. And I think it's only 10 or so. And I think weapons falls under the tools category as well. It, it's subject to change. I think under the new... Um, 1.5 patch you can actually store 53 items in there so it's it's weird another thing you can do is if you fill up your backpack and then drop your backpack in there 
um, all the items in the backpack will be stored in there. So if you retrieve the backpack, your items will be in there. So it's kind of like a, if you're running out of space, it's a great way to do it. Always remember to save the tent once you've done this. Uh, it's very important. If you don't, you can possibly lose everything you've just put in there. I like to do it multiple times and um, always make sure that's saved. Um, this is server specific, so it'll only last on the server that you've placed it. If you die, you have six days on average to get back to your tent and save it or move it, or if not, the whole tent will disappear or all your contents will disappear. This is, it depends on the server. Um, in some updates, whole tents can be wiped out. And in some resets, they can be update uh, can be wiped out depending on how the server's set up. It's really a hit and miss, but generally six days you've got to go back and save your tent and to keep it all there. Um, yeah, this is pretty much all you have to consider when dealing with tents. I hope this has been helpful, and stay tuned for more.